The EBR by French company Panhard is easily recognizable by its osculating turret, much like that of the AMX-13 tank and four of its eight wheels being solid metal. The front and rear wheels are standard wheels with rubber tires for whilst driving on the road and when going off-road the four central metal wheels were lowered to provide additional power, traction and reducing the vehicle's ground pressure. The vehicle also had two drivers. One stationed in the front as per normal and one in the rear. An oscillating turret works as two hinged parts. The first part is fixed to the hull with a limited traverse left and right. The second part is the upper half, which has the gun in a fixed position and fed by an autoloader and drum magazines at the back of the upper half. It only requires two crew, the gunner and vehicle commander. The original production model was armed with a rifled 75mm main gun as used on the AMX-13 and later in production with the same 90mm main gun the AMX-13 was upgraded with. Though the first prototype was completed in 1950 following earlier chassis built in 1948, the Panhard design predated the German invasion of France. Shelved until the post-war, the Dane met the needs of the French army for a wheeled reconnaissance vehicle. Using the same turret as the AMX-13, the Engine Blind de Reconnaissance entered production with French company Panhard in 1950-51. 650 vehicles were built with the original 75mm main gun and had a 7.5mm coaxial machine gun and both drivers also had a 7.5mm MGs. A second 75mm main gun was also introduced with a greater caliber length offering increased muzzle velocity. The 90 represents the upgrade during mid-production to the 90mm rifled main gun. Both new production vehicles and some earlier EBR 75s were bought up to this model. Production ended with almost 2,000 vehicles built, including the earlier 650 EBR 75. This was the armored personnel carrier variant and sold to Portugal. Production started around 1956. The vehicle accommodated 15 personnel, which included both drivers, commander, and infantry. The commander had a single-person turret equipped with a machine gun. The infantry sat on two benches back-to-back -back and were able to fire their personnel weapons from within the vehicle through firing ports along the whole side.